Hey guys, quick video today on my worm buckets that are inside of my wicking garden beds. Um, I've been wanting to do a quick video because I know some of you have seen this, but basically <clears throat> I have uh, cut the bottom out and drilled holes in the side of a bucket all the way around several different levels. And then um, used red wiggler worms, uh, dumped them in the bucket, uh, used a mixture of uh, coconut core, uh, you can use peat moss, uh, you can use shredded cardboard, which is what I use. And then of course your kitchen scraps just go in like I've done here. I'll show you one I hadn't done yet. So <clears throat> I've already been using these about a month and a half. But so basically what I do, I rake back the old cardboard as far as I can. Um, and then you see I've added, added some apple peelings. Um, this is eggshells, which are excellent. Um, I use, you know, when I trim my tomato vines, uh, I use tomato vines, I use um, lettuce, old lettuce or lettuce that's about to go out of date, uh, I use that, and then one of my favorite things to use is coffee grounds, because they really like, I think they use it to digest coffee grounds, so if you're a coffee drinker, um, you know, you can add that. The ratio is two to one brown, so, you know, leaves, cardboard, I bought a shredder so I could do cardboard shredding. Um, any kind of shipping paper that comes in the, you know, your shipping boxes from Amazon or wherever. And then once I put the new uh, kitchen scraps in, I always take several big handfuls of cardboard and just put it on the top because you want to have a two to one ratio of that to your greens. And then what I'll do is come back and wet all these buckets. So I have one pretty much for each garden bed. And these are wicking beds, they're raised beds, but they're wicking beds. Um, so this is the only one I hadn't done one in. I was just gonna try to see if there's actual difference in the soil content at the end of the year. But anyway, you can see plants are doing really well. Um, but that's how I do it. Um, just remember your ratio, two to one brown to pretty much uh, kitchen scraps are green and um, add the red wiggler, rig, wiggler worms, it's hard to say. And uh, I just got whole complete bottom cut out of the bucket and then holes drilled, probably 20 holes drilled at different levels all the way around and just backfill it. And then you can fill it with coconut core, peat moss, cardboard, shipping paper, leaves, um, and that's how I do it. I will take a water hose and moisten that a little bit before I cap it. And then I'll just put the cap back on after I water them. And uh, that's all there is to it.